Kafka finally did it. Hi everyone, wishing you all a happy Eid and happy Father's Day. Your boy Al is here with Kaiju number 8 episode 10 review so let's go. At first we see Kaiju number 10 continue battling Hashina, who reaches his maximum output but is still overwhelmed. In a flashback, a man tells Hashina to give up on joining the defense force. Back in the present, Hashina informs his ally via a device that he can still fight. So it seems power suits can have side effects on people if they keep unleashing maximum output after the time limit, and this raises many questions about the lore again, but I won't rant about it today. Also I think the man is Hashina's father. Next we see that Hashina knows he's lost his maximum release and is unsure how to stop Kaiju number 10. While wandering, Okanaji updates him on the battlefield's current activities. Despite his disadvantages, Hashina continues fighting Kaiju number 10. Flashbacks reveal a man repeatedly telling Hashina to give up, citing his incompatibility with guns and how his exceptional swordsman skills won't help in the Kaiju era. Before being properly recruited, Hashina expects Mina to tell him to give up like the others. Instead, Mina surprises him by asking him to join the defense force. The flashback kinda implies that blades used to be more effective against kaijus in the past, which basically means guns are more efficient now, and perhaps the possibility of the kaijus evolving over time. Also it was nice to find out why Hashina is so devoted to Mina. Moving on we see Mina tell Hashina she's not skilled with swords, so she hopes to rely on him in the future. With this memory, Hashina gives Kaiju number 10 his best effort in the present. Kaiju number 10 overwhelms him further, prompting Kafka to rush to his aid, but Mina arrives first and combats Kaiju number 10. During the battle, Okanaji tells Mina where Kaiju number 10's core is. Hashina tries to help Mina by wounding Kaiju number 10's ligaments, and Kikora joins him seconds later to assist. Although Kikora reaches her limit, others join the fight to support Mina and Hashina. Together, they enable Mina to unleash her 96% combat power attack on Kaiju number 10, securing victory for the team. I don't understand how a new member like Kikoru has suddenly become the third strongest member of the third division. I mean there's no ground for it other than Kikoru's compatibility with her power suit, but experience matters a lot in a battlefield, so this doesn't make sense. Also Mina looks more cute with short hair. Then we see everyone regroup after the battle. Okanaji suggests Mina and the others head to the base to rest. Some troops inform Mina they plan to exterminate the remaining Yoju. Before they can start, Kafka and the others notice something strange hovering over them. Okanaji reveals the Yoju are combining to create a Yoju themed bomb. With no other option, Kafka transforms into Kaiju number 8 and steps in front of everyone. Reflecting on his actions and ready to face the consequences, Kafka leaps into the air and pushes the Yoju bomb into the sky. As he falls, Mina instructs everyone to ready their shields. Kafka's action was totally justified this time, because if he didn't step in then the whole city would have been destroyed right there. Alspo I knew the fight wouldn't end until Kafka did something. At the end we see that the Yoju bomb explodes, affecting only a small part of the battlefield. Afterwards, Kafka stands nearby as Mina and her troops confront him. Mina points a gun at Kafka and tells him she's taking him into custody. I'm pretty sure it will be one of those tropes, where the defense force will agree to watch over Kafka until he goes berserk, but I'm more interested to see how Mina will react to all this. Also the animation quality of this episode was too good. Overall, this was a genuinely good episode, and I can finally say I enjoyed it. Nonetheless, thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video then check out some of my other videos. Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel or leave a comment if you want to say something, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page, links are given in the description until then see ya.